All right, so good afternoon. I'm sitting outside enjoying the uh, good, good evening. So uh, I was out here playing soccer with the uh, boys, but they just went in, so we getting ready to uh, have dinner. But I just wanted to share some things because I know that, uh, you know, everybody's still uh, locked in with COVID-19. And of course, everybody's, uh, you know, having some, some people having harder times than others. So uh, I just finished a class on uh, will, the science of well-being uh, with uh, Yale, which was really informative. And uh, I've also been procrastinating, so I have a uh, course I've been taking uh, online in Buddhism, which is pretty cool. Uh, I mean, right off the back, you learn that you know, obviously Buddhism isn't a religion, it's a way of life uh, and things of that nature. So I actually started it about probably 10 months ago, to be honest. So it's only a 10 module course. But in the meantime, I was taking all these other courses, so I kind of kept pushing it to the back. Uh, but the thing I thought was kind of neat, now that I'm, you know, looking at trying to finish this course uh, in the next week and a half or so before uh, I kick off my doctorate with, with uh, Liberty, is that this uh, science of well-being was really nice. It was by uh, uh, Dr. Santos, the uh, lead psychologist at, uh, at Yale. And, um, you know, it talks about uh, how we get, uh, you know, happiness not only by taking care of ourselves or doing nice things for ourselves, but how we do nice things for others and how they conduct the studies, uh, which kind of compare the happiness people get when they do things for themselves versus the happiness that they get by helping others. And it's almost a two to one. It's almost you, you get twice as much happiness from helping others than just doing nice things for yourself. Uh, and, and, and likewise with Buddhism, right? When studying Buddhism, it's all about, uh, you know, self-happiness, uh, self-enlightenment, and, uh, you know, just uh, trying to focus on yourself and not necessarily uh, material things. Uh, but the cool thing I thought about both is, is studying this Buddhism course as well as the uh, science of, of well-being is that they both talk about meditation and uh, how clearing the mind um, you know, bring so much peace, uh, as well as, you know, living healthy too, uh, you know, sleeping more, trying to eat right, uh, and just doing a lot of positive things. So uh, that's one thing I wanted to share with everyone this week is try to do something positive, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, just taking a, a little bit more time for yourself so you can meditate and clear your mind, or whether it's going out of your way each day to try to help someone. Because believe it or not, uh, if you constantly do this, you will start to see I think uh, a more positive uh, environment in yourself by helping others because when you do something for yourself you feel happy because it's like hey I got this new thing or I did something special when you help the other person you feel better because you did something nice but when you see their happiness as they reciprocate and as they are thankful and grateful that too can be uh, a, a bonus positive so you end up getting like twice the, the happiness than you would have, like, say, had you bought yourself a coffee versus buying someone else a coffee and then watching them enjoy it. Anyway, have a good day and just a little something that I thought I'd share with the, the public.